Greetings and welcome. My name is IK from IK Games, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of it basing around a creature, I decided, especially for my campaign, I would like to have a couple of castle maps. So this one will be, so to say, the entrance. Now, it may not be a traditional small grand hall kind of entrance, but it's going to be uh, more or less a double door kind of entrance, uh, grand little entryway, a couple of small rooms. Yeah, it's going to be interesting for sure. So let's go through the traditional indoors. This is majorly where we're going to be. There will be some outdoors. Uh, we could leave that up. Uh, we will not need the water. Definitely not space, not black and white, gravel and dirt. I'll hold on to that. So, for which panel we'll do? Again, this will be completely unedited and completely raw in that you can, if you, if any game masters would like to get a idea from my constant rambling, please do. Uh, if you got something, just post it down below. If you don't, and you don't like me rambling, meet the video, watch the process, do what you will. I mean. But let's go, let's see, what's a traditional marble floor looking like? Ah, oh, that's not that bad. Maybe I'll keep that. Chest, no. Wooden, no. Cobblestones. Mm, that's more of an exterior kind of look. I wouldn't mind having that for kind of a main road kind of feeling. We'll need to uh, space. Five. Ten. 15. So that is dead in the middle. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, perhaps pop it up just a slight bit. Then I believe we'll just go ahead and uh, bucket fill the rest of this. Don't want to get too ambitious with it, however. So... <clears throat> The party walks forth after, uh, in the, in the middle of a town, so they, uh, the local lord has summoned you. So, you're walking up, nice, uh, cobblestone to, uh, marble castle entrance. Well, I'd be a little bit of a keyed in, so that I could funnel people out, I believe. Yeah, that'd work. Need a three by three, that'll do. I believe we could do a double door. I think we'll just do a triple door in this case. Have a door and a half and a door and a half. So, we're going to need some walls. Now, we could go for stone walls. We could go for turret texture. We could go for... If it's going to be a uh, kind of edge paint, uh, we'll probably go for a one. Maybe not. That doesn't look exactly what I want it to be. How about... That fits better with a cobblestone approach, but I think I'll stick with the default stone. Keep going around. Fairly simple, right? The exterior walls need to be thick, denoting defense. The interior walls can be as they wish. Uh, we will need to uh, split and define these areas a little bit so that to cover any imperfections in the stonework all right it goes there grass goes there boop, boop, boop. all right so go ahead and uh have a couple of houses sporadic no no no, no. it would be a uh it would be more of a open field around that area. So maybe a, a couple of field plotches denoting uh, imperfections into the grass. So to say, uh, small imperfections. Maybe have hmm, flames, lavas. Uh, you could potentially have it be a moat, but we're just doing a traditional keep within a castle. Main entrance way. Nothing too complicated. Nah. Have it spread out sporadically, that'd do. Just just make it that random touch. 
Alright, so at this point, we need to decide what rooms, we need to get the basic layout, and we'll be using Edge for the remainder of this. So, let's go ahead and start counting. One, two, three. Probably having a three-way passage to the right, and a three-way passage to the left, keeping a little bit of uniformity. Most keeps and castles have a bit of uniformity to them. Some won't. Uh, for this entryway, however, they will be having a guard station. There will probably be, uh, a, a general, a location for troops to rally forth to the main gate should they need to, or rally outward. Uh, you would have, uh, considering it would be near the main entrance, you probably wouldn't have the guest room too far away. So the guest room would probably partake in probably this top left corner. That would be a good idea. Uh, go ahead and fill this in. Either way, we're going to have to border the map. Except for probably the middle three here. So, one, two, three. Have that denoting for now. And bop, bop, bop. Now we need to go around again. Unless you want to have a little secret entryway going around. Maybe a... Uh, so you get a little escape way to get to the front gate, or for guests to escape, should they need to. That would work right there. Getting around the edge is a bit of a pain. Have a uh, small by small. We can use this for the uh, initiation into the room. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Have it curved up. Have it curved around. Go into the entrance. Curved up, curved around, yeah, there we go. Have that be the door entrances for the uh, alleyway, or however it could be taken into it. Going to be one of the uh, servants' quarters here in the front. Mm, let's see here. Could do this, having uh, denoting two entrances. That one's going to be branching off slightly. Remember, keeping the thin walls on the inside of the castle. Now, you have uh, maybe a murder mystery that has happened near the entrance to the keep. Uh, a guest has come and visited in one of the main rooms and chambers, which will be this room up here, denoting. And uh, they, a local lord has come to find him dead inside of his chamber. So you'd have to set up clues and mysteries within this area, maybe setting off into different areas. I've given uh, the ability to go left to one of maybe one of the uh, spires, the guard spire to the left, guard spire to the right, or maybe a magician's tower on one of the ends. Going up north to the main hall. Uh, traditionally, try to keep a uh, red carpet kind of line going through here. Uh, not a bad idea, is there... A red carpet line in here. Probably not. Uh, there's rust walls, stone, buildings, concrete, developers, glass, metal, nature, props, carpet. That'll do. Have it going. That works out fairly well. Having it go not immediately up to the door, for if you are of a less noble stature, they would not allow you to walk on the carpet. Uh, or the guards would deliberately, if you were invited, you would be allowed to walk on the carpet. If you were not, you were part of the uh, lesser rabble uh, and whatnot. Uh, if anybody would be walking on the carpet, they would be immediately frowned upon. There we go. Keep it nice and uniform. Could. No, 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 no. Don't want it to go over. So I'm going to have to redo that, and then paint. There we go. Keep it as uh, close as possible as we can. So it's it's a bit uh, worn and ragged, but it gets the point across. It being a central avenue that leads up to the main throne room where the king resides, or the local lord would reside over uh, personal matters. Have little alcoves for the uh, guard, should they need to use the... The uh, gentleman's room, just so to say. Uh, having two entrances, uh, 
particularly for a guard's room, we probably have a third entrance going up to the north. Uh, they would not particularly be a barracks up this close, simply because it'd be easy for assassins and invasion forces to get access to, uh, specifically the armory and stuff like that, would be under secure lock and key, and they probably would keep it not directly next to the entrance, so probably the armory room's going to be up here. As we lock it down, having only one entrance, uh, probably allowing this to be a three entrance corridor. Uh, maybe there will be giant, depending on who owns the castle, we would be uh, using the statues for defenses. This being the armory, there could be uh, several statues guarding in the corners here. All across the places, have them turn into animated armors or shield guardians. The massive animated constructs, which we could make the topic of today. But I'm just going to do traditional. Just go for it, not bore you with the details. I'm realizing that maybe I'm boring a few people with needless information. You're here for the maps, most likely. Not the creature. So, how does this look? So, we need to continue to mold the main way. So that this being the... Maybe this be the uh, practice room, immediate like area, or... Hmm, I believe this will definitely be... A, yeah, this right here will have to be the entry to the guest quarters. Yes, I'm trying to get the words out. So this will be the guest quarters. We'll start losing its uniformity. You would not really notice much of a difference unless you were to enter the area. I like that little area. I, I like that little alcove, but I'll probably not do that. So, so far, uh, we've got the main entryway with a, uh, I want to say, considering it's 15 feet across, probably seven and a half feet wide doors, probably about half a foot thick each, being of wood with metal reinforcements to prevent, with a crossbar laid to the side to prevent uh, anybody from entering in, should they need to. Over to the right, I would say, be, hmm... This be the recreational area, or the immediate guest quarters. This being the uh, guard, I want to say the guard break room. Have uh, a little bit of relaxation going on here. Uh, next to the armory, maybe. Maybe this would be the break room. Uh, this would lead off into its own little section. Speaking of which, that needs to go off. I can... Then close that and have this be the rest area, if you get my meaning. So the guards are able to pour in, able to go over, back and forth. I will do the other maps as I progress. I'll use this as a base, and I will have this loaded up on the other screen as I work on it. But I believe that works well for the layout. Uh, the guest room probably have more than a bucket, so to say, but they would have their, they would definitely have their own means of relaxation and being able to relieve their burdens, <laughs> so to say. So, maybe keeping the curvature, uh, adding some, uh, adding some privacy. Here works out fairly well. Uh, putting a traditional suit of armor, or uh, depending on the location, you'd have uh, just a little cubby. Hmm, maybe not on the guest room. You could have it. No, no, no. Let's not do a. Uh, let's not do a guest. Let's not do a cubby hole at all. I, that just adds and invites issue. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, it came out of nowhere. So. I believe this being the guard's joint area of returning. Uh, this will be a, a mixture of the relaxation break kind of rooms. Uh, maybe for donning, not, not exactly 
donning all of their armor, but it is the weapon area, so you'll have the majority of the weapons in here. Uh, commonplace items in here, like arrows, uh, maybe ballista bolts, things that cannot be used on their own as a weapon. They can only be used in tandem, and it would be a disadvantage for invaders to take them. So you'd have everything else under lock and key. So let's go through doors. Nothing. Ah, there's a good double door. That works out fairly well. That's about the size, too. Uh, we want to keep this probably a bit outward. Yeah, that works. And keep burials, doors, boxes, boxes. I can't say I wouldn't be using those. This is, would be using books and tablets. No boats. Could use blood. Uh, the, if there would be the servants' quarters immediately at the entrance, that wouldn't be a terrible mistake. But majority of them for bedding would have rolls or piles of hay. Or they wouldn't even sleep in the interior at all. So it would be more of a servant area. Uh... And it would be indentured servants. It would be in this area. It would be uh, not so much slaves uh, if your kingdom or town would accept slavery. Could go for traditional goblin bedding. That's not a terrible bad idea. There's extra cushions, hammocks. Hammocks would be great if you're playing on a coastal town. Sleeping bag. That's not a bad idea. Mm, I'll hold on to that. Uh, manger, probably not. Uh, small bed, probably a bit too formal. Uh, let's see here. They wouldn't really have mattresses, so I think I'll be doing a patched up sleeping bag, denoting that this is most likely a servant area, or... Hmm... There's blacksmithing, there's, you could have your internal blacksmith, you could have it externally. I've built uh, castle towns with an internal, uh, like the lord like to keep his own internal blacksmith. I've kept, uh, like, magical uh, facilities, alchemy stations, it depends on all kinds of stuff that you'd like to go in there. But for this venture, let me go ahead and I'll keep the lock on. Just uh, it's just three little sleeping bags, noting that they're required to maintain together as they go around cleaning. So that'd be it for the beds. We wouldn't need that. We wouldn't need bars, uh, barrels. You would have them doing potentially laundry on the inside, so that would work out fairly well. They would need uh, barrels of water nearby. Let's uh, rotate it randomly. Uh, remove the stick. Uh, do a quick little snap rotation. Maybe it should be near where they're actually going to do the laundry, which would be in the back corner. I can move that later, should I need to. Bag, satchels. If you're going to have the party potentially break into the castle, do all sorts of things. I don't immediately give away what area it is. Don't have anything immediately labeled. Uh, a lord or king would not deliberately let foreign powers know what room is what. Let them adventure and find out. Let them peek. Let them stealth. Let them sneak around to find things. Won't need awnings, won't need arches, we will not need the black and white, we won't need space. Vegetation would not be a bad idea for the outside real quick, just to add a bit of fluff. Uh, let's see here, probably uh, not desert tree, let's have a nice large tree. They're not going uh, a bit under the walls. If you have a, uh, what are we called? The, not the barricades. Oh, it'll come to me eventually. Have the parapets. The battlements. Yeah, there it is. Get to the battlements. Uh, the tree would not immediately go up to the battlements. It would be under, denoting that it's going under there. 
Uh, let's see if there be anything else in here. Just a dead tree. That's not a bad idea, but maybe we should just have a small bush over here. And that will be that. See, it already looks kind of nice over here. Having a little bit of vegetation. Uh, the groundskeeper apparently not uh, entirely cutting down everything. Uh, letting the yard go a little bit out of control. That's fine. Could add some interior vegetation. Uh, structure, stairs up, stairs down. Uh, we could make this go into the second floor over here in this area. That would not be a terrible idea to be as a uh, second entry point. Uh, considering you would not want the uh, Grant Hall to be the up and down entry point. The only entry point. Uh, it's great for the king or the city lord to be able to get up should they need to. But they would not be able to get down because it would be a central point. And if somebody would get in there, they could test it. And they could keep somebody in the higher floors, basically isolating them. So, having that go to the upper floor may not be a bad idea. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's do that. Have them go stairs up. Uh, those are quite some large stairs, considering they're about a foot. Actually, that's about right, considering, uh, one of these is, uh, so two and a half is five feet. That ends up working pretty good. 2.5 equals 5, so each one's 2. Is that how that works? Yeah, actually, brain. So yeah, each one is about 2 feet wide. So they're big platforms designed to move uh, large pieces of equipment up and down should they need to. Uh, I'm not immediately known uh, what goes here and there. That wouldn't be a bad idea, having a large... Entry there, large entry there. That way you can hide what is going on. Have it go right here. Boop, 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 boop. Have a double door. And uh, continue to have a double door here. Allowing, uh, confusing potential intruders to say if they go over here and they don't know where it is. A guest would immediately know that this is something. But they would not know if this goes up to the parapets or the battlements to the top. Or this goes up to the battlements to the top. This would lead to the second floor. The second floor could be the battlements section. The second floor could be just entire garrison and living space of the bottom floor. Comparatively, because if castle falls, it'll crash everything underneath. Usually kings like to be high up in the air anyways, or wizards particularly like their towers of power. So, you can have this be to the third floor, a shortcut to the third floor. This is something that you can leave up to your own imagination, because now this won't actually go anywhere. I can have this be to the second floor, immediate shortcut to the third floor where the battlements are, so that way you can have it lead into supplies, uh, such as ballistas, cannons, what that kind of era that you're currently in. So, let us continue. Let us continue with the doors, shall we? Uh, furniture. More furniture. Uh... Top is even. Don't need that. Won't need miscellaneous. Uh, keep the structures just in case. Bags, barrels, blood and cracks. Won't really need that. Boxes and containers. Won't need bridges. Don't need burials or coffins or bushes. Don't need cages for this one. Carpets wouldn't be a bad idea considering we're going to be doing the guest quarters, chairs and thrones. Yes. Chests, locked boxes and safes. Yes. Coins and valuables. Probably not. Crafting and foraging. Depends. Is there anything in here for a uh, the baker's table, Bob preset, bedroom preset, artist, Asian table. That's pretty nice. Uh, bags closed. Now that'd be useful in here. Uh, have fairly large bags placed, denoting some laundry. Maybe perhaps that'd be the laundry corner, as I said earlier. Uh, butcher's work table. Uh, I won't be using it as a butcher, that's for sure. Have some clothes. Let's see if we can have a shirt. Nope. Clothes, clothes shelf, clothes line, clothes rack. Clothes rack. Hmm. Hmm. 
could have, there we go, that's not that terrible. I guess it would have to work like that, wouldn't it? Close lot, and I'm going to doing some laundry in here. Close lot, 1B, 1D. Oh, there's, there should be plenty of options here. Yeah, this one not exactly fitting with the rest. Be the servants' quarters. Uh, so crafting and forge is about good. Crates, we'll need those. Crystals, no. Cushions and pillows, yes. But no, we'll need bones and bodies. More desks, we're good. There's the doors. Bar doors, I like to have a top-down kind of door kind of situation where uh, you can use... Uh, you can just click and drag using the shadow to completely block out a room once they want to come in. You can just reveal the room in its entirety, hence the square-like design. Makes it pretty easy. If you have realistic lighting, then just draw one bar across the door and then delete it if they want to open the door. Or better yet, draw a half-cracked, like a uh, small little sliver if they want to peek in through it. So that way they can like, get a little bit of view out of it. Now, it wouldn't be steel, it would be wood. Crossbar. And let's have the doors be the same. Here and there. That works. You'd have a door here, there. Uh, would not probably have a door on the guest room. They uh, would respect their own privacy. Privacy. And they would have a servant waiting on hand. Uh, if they were to have a door closed behind them, unlike in modern times, I believe, it would depend up to the Lord and the how the guests would approach it, but I believe back then, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, they kept the rooms generally open because for fear of being locked in, because it being small. It's easy to capture somebody inside of a bathroom because that's the most vulnerable location. That's basically what I'm going to say there. Don't question it. That's just how things are going to be. <laughs> now we need a good double door. Have a double door. Door, 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 door. Uh, door. Now these look pretty nice. Uh, double curled iron. Curled handle. There's some double doors. That's gold. That's not what I want. Uh, we do want some reinforced kind of double door. Kind of standard. Uh, that'd work. Not exactly perfectly aligned. I can fix that. Just unlock. Lock here. And lock there. Nah, maybe that's a slightly off. OCD, forgive me. There we go. So now they know that these are... It's important areas. Uh, it's important areas for the servants or uh, slaves or however room you want to turn this actually into. Would need to get large containers into it, storage in and out. Whereas the local militia, the soldiers, the knights would need to get in and out uh, through the larger equipment. Nothing would be labeled, only the interior and the, only the those that actually live and work here, honor bound or not, would know the interior. So spies could find out and gently carve into the side of the area denoting a mark known only to the spy, using Thieves' Cant, maybe, perhaps. Uh, can't being the chat. So they'd have a Thieves' Cant abbreviated version written down. It'd be a, like a denoting two lines, almost in an X fashion, but they're more vertical than usual, and there's a line at the top denoting that this is a useless area. What instead, you have the line at the bottom on the X, denoting an area of importance, prioritize. You people wouldn't know which one would do what. It'd be easily to confuse them. Or you have the line slightly slanted up, slightly slanted down. You can mess around with it, have what you will. Now, we're going to need a reinforced door. These doors are going to have to be probably not that kind of style door, unfortunately. They're going to have to be their own little door. Icon, not gold, not front. Uh, this is a tower door. That'd work. Have it there. 
and have it snap there. There we go. Having it, uh, the ability to have a lock to it for concerns uh, due to security. Unfortunately, this would also technically allow the Lord to lock up their guests, but they wouldn't be here unless they were idiots and they knew that the Lord hated them. All of that kind of sort of nonsense. But denoting that these rooms are more important than potentially these rooms. Now, let's go ahead and see if I can find another double door. There's traps. Maybe not. Door double with a chain. Ooh. That looks pretty nice. Let's see. Would it fit the theme? Maybe. Yes, it would. Because they would only be in emergencies would they need to have access and open this area up or when they're doing that. So they would put a chain lock on it. Of course, locks could be picked and the such. So now we need a actual reinforced door. Yes, I believe there was one door steals. I like that. Now that's a bit thin. Let's see. There's that door double. Uh, big. Yeah, denoting that there's something important back here. Uh, can't see through it. There's no slits in the doorways, so to say. And so nobody knows what's in there, but it is under heavy lock and key. You could break through the door. You got yourself a sledgehammer. You had to go through the, the uh, walls AC and damage reduction, which I believe damage reduction 5. Uh, AC to hit would be a 15. And HP anywhere, depending on the material, from 90 to 150. That's a lot. Especially if you're on the lower level side. No, doors are done. Dummies. Uh, we could have a mantlet. Targets. Uh, mantlet's not a bad idea. Reusing this. Have it be placed down here for target practice. Maybe a throwing of knives, throwing of arrows. You've got the, uh, the dummies that are placed within the area. So this could be a uh, practice area. This could be the rest area. The, if they need to use the gentleman's room, you can make it elsewhere. <laughs> the knights can run upstairs if they need to. Uh, or... Or elsewhere. Maybe I'll have... Every every night will have their own... Like, getting used to close quarters combat. Kind of little stockade. A little, little cubicle to work with. It works, it works, it works. Would they have anything else? They wouldn't... Uh, they'd have... Depending on the leisure time. They may have a dartboard. But probably not. Target board, so we're done with that. Palisades. No, we're good. Fire. Yes, everything's on burning. Flares. Food. We're good. Footprints. Fountains. Oh, would they bother with a fountain in here? Probably. If it's like a, a small half fountain, they may do that just for aesthetics. Uh, yeah, these are wells. Marble fountain. Uh, maybe a fountain pool. Small. That's lightning. That one's electrified. Don't touch that one. Magic fountain. Exterior fountains. Uh, that's a top-down view. That's probably of a castle wall. That's not a bad idea to place over here. Have there be uh, a little walkway fountain area over here. Uh, maybe this area. There's a path. Over here, for uh, people, like the water, flowing water, uh, the king is nice, uh, allowing maybe it's a servitude of prayer, uh, being a shrine, maybe it's just a fountain for kids to get some water, they playing around, or for the knights to get their water. It gives a little bit of life to that barren area. That's for sure. So, anything else, really? Not, um, yeah, this would work over here. Have a uh, small fountain for the uh, people, the uh, yes, to uh, wash hands and to uh, finish his business. 
large bowl, fountain. Imagine having to be the one to clean these fountains after the fact. Oh my. Uh, it would have... No, it wouldn't really have a tub, considering it'd be a temporary guest quarters. Uh, the... Mm, maybe it wouldn't be a best idea to... It, it would just be a little privacy area. It would not be... Uh, It'd be something if they wish to freshen up for ladies, if men wish to... Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Just go with it. I'm not saying either way. So stone ring. Uh, that's a good little fountain, maybe. Well, oh, that's that's dirty. Bottomless. Stone well. This will get people to use the bathroom. We talk about all this water that's flowing around everywhere. Uh, bird bath. Uh... I mean, this would start sticking after a while. It would need to be a pit, would it not? Go to the sewer system, drain down below. So, maybe the bottomless pit, well bottomless, would not be a bad idea. Make it small. Un... Yes, make it small. Delete that one. Place it here. Delete that. Place it there for uh for them to have their business. Uh, maybe some decorations of plants. Uh, let's get some flowers. Flower vase, flower vase two, flower ornaments. Uh, got to be small. Random. Keep things a bit colorful. That'll do good for fountains and wells. Games, cards. Maybe turret. That wouldn't be bad. Dice. I can see dice existing in there. Keeping them entertained. Garden hedges. There's ooh, some big gates. Dragon gates. Double gates. Gears, gratings. Hidey howls. Houses. Huts. Keeps. Mausoleum towers. I'll be using that for sure later. Ladders. Letters. Library. Uh, there would be a. Uh, there would for sure be a series of books here. Uh, it'd be facing this way. Pertaining a little bit of a library area over here. That works. Uh, let's see. Another shot. Another bookshelf. Small. Uh, maybe saying this is actually a desk instead. That'd work. Anybody would like to uh, view there? Let's get a chair. Or a stool. Oh no, don't color filter that. C is for color filter if you didn't know. Uh, a stool there. This is already looking quite nice. I like the interior. This, The mods and everything with this, I'm finding that the interior is actually very, very nice. You can get some very exquisite details. That looks that looks fairly fairly uniform. It looks nice because it blends everything in, makes it toned down. So you can't say it looks bad. You can't say it looks bad at all. Not bookcase lodge. Maybe denoting it's about fifteen feet across. No, that doesn't look good. Every, every now and then you find something that's not that great. Uh, library. That's about it, isn't it? There's not much else of that kind of variety. There's the one, and there's the two. Maybe. Uh, denoting that there's more material on that area. Just placing things around. Magical energy, if you want to make the magic tower, which we can do later. Probably be about the majority of the size of the area, but there will be some open space in the bottom right bottom on the bottom to the right area try to keep things with it market pavilion sci-fi mushrooms music probably not cult piers plants shelves and cupboards here we go um wah. uh should they hmm would there be an um and a uh resting area for the, uh, just, uh, it, it would be a larger area. It wouldn't really have it on wall, but it would. There's the, uh, silver bookshelf. There's large. There's cabinets. There's your drawers. There's the clothesline somewhere there. There's a chest. 
There's a cloth shelf. Probably be doing that for personal touches. Uh, having this inside the uh, the uh, barracks area is not a bad touch. Uh, probably hiding. Uh, putting a few here. Putting a sword there. A helmet here. Yeah, that looks really nice, even with the shadow. And having a dagger on that one. Saying that this is the area where the uh, knights, the uh, guards, the militia can, can comfortably take off uh, or put on. Again, this is next to the armory, which will be completely filled to the brim. If you don't plan on using the armory as an armory, use it as the objective. Have treasure hoards be in there. I'm not going to particularly line it with a bunch of swords. I'm going to line it with like chests and stuff. Uh, there's a dresser. Dressers wouldn't be a bad idea. Dresser worn. Dresser worn. Uh, it's not a bad idea to give it a little nice mirror. Uh, dressers would be on the larger side. There we go. In case they wanted needed a mirror of some kind. Uh, let's see. Glass. Uh, metal shelves. No, that'd be pantry. Pantry wouldn't be a bad idea down here. Nice, uh... Pantry area down here. Should they uh, have to gather materials? It's a bit large. Maybe it doesn't need to be that large. Hmm. It just doesn't fit. We'll try something else. Uh, ooh, here we go. Racks. Racks full of cleaning agents. I like that. Placed... Almost haphazardly. And for the clothing, there'd be shelves full of miscellaneous items. Look what's in here. There's uh, gemstones. There's cobwebs. There's books. There's small chests. There's a skull with a candle on it. There's a lot of items on this. Actually, a lot of these items are individually placed, including those cobwebs. So this is basically just a combination of those things placed together. So, not bad. Uh, unfortunately, no, we can't use that. We can save that for the wizard's tower, however. Uh, pantry, pantry, pantry. Uh, glass shelves. There'd be a mantle. Uh, I do like the look of that, however. Making that a bit on the larger side. Uh, continue onward. Hooks. No, top drawer. Probably not. Okay. And then a wardrobe. Nah, the shadow ruins it on that one. Every now and then you get one that's just slightly off. Siege! Hmm. I will take... Probably not the cannons, but I will put boxes. So that way you can describe particularly what you want in there. Uh, or what I would like in there. I would like to be able to reuse the map. Uh, if I use the map once... As I lay out for uh, going to visit the king, being guided up through the uh, to the location, uh, just a simple run through, give them a once over. Then they have to return and fight and go through the thing. But their objective isn't to raid anything. Then a second objective is the same layout, but instead they're having to now raid into the armory or replace the armory's goods with inferior weapons. So that way they would break stages, statues. Ah, yes, here comes the statues. Now, I like these because you can use these as very nice shield guardians and just have them placed like that. You can double them down, use them as you will. I will be placing it here. Placing it there. Yes, you did see that there were a lot of different versions of shield guardian. Or there's a lot of different versions of these. Uh, depending on what area they're in. I'm going to keep the guard B, standard guard B. That's one side. I uh, could have it pointed up, pointed out. Weapons out. Let's see here. 
I vote. That's probably good on statues in that regard, at least. Uh, Barbarian statue. Uh, Black Ballast. That's nice. Golden Beast. Kind of like when we were doing the Basilisk map. There's a couple more of these statues. Cherups. Generic. Golden Eagle. Child with Dog. Cherub. Mm. Maybe... A uh, statue of a hand. You want to put something in the hand, like a bird. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, and you have a bush over there, so there's none in there, so technically it works. <laughs> uh, seraphim. Statue's broken, as I, like I was using earlier. There's some gargoyles. Gargoyle head. Gargoyles, uh, like stone gargoyle hound. Uh, toy gargoyles. Unicorn statue. I think we'll be okay with statues for now. Summoning circles, again, for the magical area. Tables. Let's see here. A bandit table. Maybe the, uh, there's the adventure planning table. Maybe use the, uh, bandit table, uh, over here. Denoting that they've gotten a bit, uh, a bit relaxed. More relaxed than, uh, usual. And then over here, let's, uh, give it a nice couple of randoms. Rotations. I guess I'm going to have to do it myself. Uh, there. That fits out pretty well. They're not bandits, unless bandits have invaded the castle and you're trying to purify the filth. If that works. Uh, there's going to be a lot in here. Oh, uh, boy. Nope. None of those. Mm, nope. None of those needed. Round table, table, table. Uh, this table, that. This table, do. I don't want to have the treasure table. Ooh. Treasure. Skull. There's a, a drinking table. Nah, that'd be for an inn, which we can do at some point. That would be a nice little table for them to rest and relax on. Uh, let's see here. A wizard with a skull again. Don't want to use that. We're inside of a noble's location. That's a butcher's table. Arrangement, table and chairs, table and chairs with cards. Uh, they wouldn't use them all, even though the other one had some. Railing, halfway, table overturned. Add a few things here, a few things there. Nope, tavern items and decorations. We would need, ah, there we go. There's a bath. There's a barrel of laundry. Have the uh, barrel laundry place there with the bags. Dragon trophy, uh, goblin trophies, keys, kitchen racks, kitchen stove, kitchen table, minotaur. Here's the bath presets. Uh, guests would not particularly need to bathe in a guest establishment. However, knights probably would. Uh, they would have a room dedicated to a bath, most likely. A bathing room, uh, probably not a large room. Let's see. Mugs, 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 mugs. Ship painting, 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 painting. Oh, paintings are probably pretty good. Uh, need a lounge area. Get it, placed it right there. Painting on the wall. Go over here. Tapestry, more of that. Nope. Temple, no. Tents, no. Torches, campfires, braziers, chandel, blah. Traps, trees, weapons. Ah, uh, no. We're using boxes and crates. Cocoons, wood. Two-minute tabletop. That's good if you want to go for that kind of theme. A little bit cartoony. Uh, nice, more relaxed session. Uh, able to be used fairly well. They've got quite a few good models in here. Like the arc. Uh, yeah, the airship is fairly nice. Unfortunately, it's a bit large. <laughs> but that's two-minute tabletop. Uh, cars, chairs, benches. Uh, let's see here. I would like a, not pillows. Well, maybe a couple of pillows. Would there be a pile of pillows in here? There's a tatami hearth. Maybe not. Uh, let's go ahead and get the crate. Uh, I, I want to finish one room. I'm jumping around a bit. So, let's finish the gods room. Actually, this works out about as good as again. This would be the relaxation room that go in, go out. Uh, it is immediately next to uh, the guard captain. 
or uh, knights would have a key of their own should they need to to go through, and it would take a knight of a particular standing. It would not allow a squire or a young knight in training to do that. They would not allow them to have the key. So, I believe nice open area. They would be relaxing, training, uh, doing what they will. Maybe a bench or two. Uh, wooden bench, uh, that would work. Yeah, I like this. Placed over there in that area. Placed in this area. Give them an area to sit down. Uh, what they would probably do is, is that they would have a area, probably outlined, let's see. Are there any squares? No, I guess we'll have a circle. Probably just have, I was going to say, a white circle. Maybe a rune circle. Uh, not so much. Well, this would work. Just have a uh, circle for uh, like little matches and such like that. For them to uh, fight out their grievances, differences. Like dueling little sparring rings kind of thing. You're only allowed to stay within it. you got to stay outside of it. Gives people plenty of room. Uh... Maybe not that close. Uh, need to have room for right here. Uh, nobody would be able to go on the training dummies if there's a place there. So, uh, you, you should be able to still do that. It would be a nice little area. You can sit down in the back area. There needs to be open space for it. Maybe I should move the table. Wouldn't be a bad idea. No. They would keep it nice and open. Oh, I know what I can do. I can delete that and just rotate it here. Not lock. Place it there. If somebody wanted to, they could, and it would not interfere with the practicing ring. Practice ring, yes. Now let's continue that, finishing up the relaxation area, potentially training area for whatever they do, whatever they do. Relaxation sometimes is training. So, let's have the uh, knight's area pre... Basically, it's like a guard post remaining area. So, you would have probably a little bit of private area up here. Uh, this would be where people would be posted. They'd come in, they come out, rotate through and through. I'm getting close to an hour on this, but we're perfectly fine. So, chairs, thrones, benches. Uh, probably of a different color. Uh, they would have some resting locations. Uh, let's check the tables. No, not that's not it. Table. Uh, not tablet. Table. There we go. That split it up pretty good. Table plane. Table tavern. Table. Table cheap. Most likely. Table market, table of weapons. Um, yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Have the table of weapons be placed right there. There are, there should be multiple of those. Table of potions, table of alchemy, table dick. Table leather, table lab, table map, table fancy, table this, table that, table two. Ah, uh, yes. Have this placed about right there. Uh, need more... If it's going to be a guard post kind of area, and that this is where people go, uh, probably to immediately, uh... That, like, there will be always several armed forces within this room. The bottom room, they will probably be in their normal clothing, relaxing, uh, or they'd be in lighter clothing for practicing, uh, grappling hand-to-hand, -hand, doing some martial arts in the pit, relaxation, throwing darts, you know, that kind of thing. So this being tied off would be more of, yeah, it would be mostly open. Uh, we would need to get weapons. Ah, there's more weapon tables. That's the same one. Weapon. Oof. Some, uh, 
fancy looking ones on that one. Nah, we'll have one weapon table. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We need. We have crates. So, no, no. Icons. So, let's go through here. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get a couple of rugs and carpets. Uh, brown rugs. Uh, yes. Keep it traditional. Keep it simple. Keep uh, a nice area over here. Denoting potentially, uh, yeah. And delete. And del post that over there. Delete. Delete that. A little bit area over here. Get that. Place that. There. There we go. Now I need a... Uh, I keep hitting that. Need to get a... Boxes would be fine in this area. Just to fill out the... Okay. Interesting. That's interesting. It's uh changed the icons on me. Like X no longer just does a rotate, it does rotational shift. Change the amount. There's my caps lock is on. There it is. Alright, so keeping to about that, so the standard, that I'll do there, uh, wash, wash basin, uh, bucket maybe, bucket and soap, there we go, and there we go, yeah. Pertaining to that, uh, keeping things again fairly sparse. Maybe put a couple more boxes in here. This is, uh, uh, just a little general storage area. They're working in here. They're constantly working. Uh, extra space is being used. They even sleep in this area. It's not really a good time for the servants. Uh, old wooden crates that do. Not exactly perfect. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, barrels, most likely not. Any more barrels? Backpacks. Uh, uh, backpack thrown. Uh, it's literally an engineering backpack. We'll probably end up putting a desk. Uh, around right here. Let's see. Desk. Bar desk. Uh, lab desk. A wizard student. A rolling desk. A big desk. Oh, with a revolver. No, 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 no. We don't want that. Uh, edge desk. Yes. Let's have it 45 degrees. Sitting about right there. For people who come in, come in from outside, from where they live, come in, need to do a sign-in, need to verify your identity anytime somebody wants to show up for work. Yeah, the uniform and equipment. You got you got the basic uniforms right here. The uh, under colors or the over turn coats. Colors are the feathers and whatnot. The actual armory and weapons allowed in here. Speaking of which, we'll need to do probably... Uh, could have a few closed barrels. Maybe not so much for... Yeah, probably barrels for swords, most likely. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. Have a uh, large... Have a uh, barrel of goods right there. Uh, structures. Here's the furniture. Let's continue with the uh, armory. Don't get sidetracked. Couple of broken barrels, barrel this, barrel that, barrel me, barrel you, do a barrel roll. Uh, crate stack, crate wooden, uh, have armor, let's see, armor, decoration, adventurer's market armor, ooh, that'd be kind of nice, but unfortunately, no. 
Uh, let's see if plate. Plate mail. Not that kind of plate. Okay. So, you'd have to use your kind of imagination. Uh, there's crack. Uh, there's barrel racks. Um, let's see. Be a little bit tricky trying to fill that out without putting too many details. Fireplace. There's the bar desk. This is the basic stuff. Um, bookshelves. Good. Don't need to fill anything more over here to the right. This is like a reading area. This is a bit of a relaxation. I would like a nice to have a nice couch. I'm doing it again. Uh, no. Lounge. I'll have to check it later. Continue with this. Continue the mission. Continue the mission. Don't don't go all over the place. They would need to have armory. Oh, I guess that works. Literally, armory is everywhere. Uh, let's go ahead and do a lock. Have these things uh, grouped up and closed tightly together. I uh, yes, altars, crates. Uh, create smalls, not so much. Uh, have a large crate inside there. It's technically bigger than getting through the door. It's probably just snugly fit. Or they built it inside the room. That would work too. Being denoting a package of some kind that was put under lock and key. I believe that would work. Having the armory, the chairs, the chandelier. Yeah, some, pff, have a chandelier in there. That would work for sure. Uh, having a fireplace would not be a bad place. Not be a bad thing at all. Having traditional fireplace, they wouldn't have a sword available. Wouldn't really have any daggers. You can, uh, see this working out fairly well. A little bit of cartoonish. It gets the point across. Let's see, more furniture... Go to page two, go to page one, really. From zero, fountain, uh, there's another furnace type. Yeah, there's the shelves. Ah, uh, yes, uh, statues, broken, table, cheap. Healer, lab, furniture, large, marble. Ah, uh, yes. For the actual meeting place. Uh, in case there'd be multiple people having around, let's see if I can get a chair. I can have chairs. It's uh, denoting the same size. I'm gonna have to rotate 30 degrees. They're not gonna be perfect. They're going to be sporadic, not perfect, that works. Or I could just delete the individual over ones over there. Saying that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people just scattered around the table. Uh, potentially a meeting place of some kind. Uh, deliberations room, so to say. Uh, would there be anything else required? Maybe a wardrobe. Why is that not? There we go. Because it's not actually... Oh, no, I deleted it. No! I gotta go find it again. Oh, I just don't need to use it. That would work. It would be a... It had glass. There it is. Glass cabinet. One RS. So they're the same. There we go. I would like to have more seating arrangements over here. Maybe a couple of chairs near the fire. Uh, loungewear, armchairs. Oh no, maybe not that decorative. Hmm, continue. We're about done. We need to finish out the lounge area. And everything would be completed. So, armchair, maybe, you would have to be, uh, we're going to have to go with some armchairs. 
Uh, ooh, this is some decorated. Sh this is some decorated ones right here. So shrink it down. Have it here. Have it there. Table. Uh, table three. That would work. Uh, let's have a uh, mug. A drink, mayhaps. Uh, smaller little drinks placed inside. Or just for some uh, small details. I had that backwards. Uh, there. Then there. Uh, let's get a book. Uh, plain book, ancient book. It doesn't really matter. It does. It should probably be open or it could be closed. It's fine to expect either one. Not bookshelf, but let's stick with book. Just, okay. It will not allow me. This is fine. Um, let's, let's place a, a bit of an older book. I'll give it a random. A bit of a small placement. I'm noting that it's doing well. Uh, maybe we can have a map. Magic scroll battle map. Ooh. With uh, some markers. Donating something to planning. Don't know for sure. It could be also a study. Uh, there needs to be another rug. For sure. We have a drow rug. Let's continue with this traditional decoration. I believe... No, we'll keep that over there. I believe, actually, that would work. Uh, would like to have... No, yeah, this uh, potentially like one-on-one -on -one, uh, relaxation area. I think I, I think what I'll do is is actually close this off, so to say, a little bit, just slightly, to uh, allow for some more privacy for ones who should uh, seek it, uh, and to the uh, ones who would. Ah, uh, how about that? Uh, it'd be kind of a uh, war room situation. No door. Right there. That would work. That would work just fine. A bit of a war room uh, kind of sub-situation. You have uh, the meeting place. The king would allow you to come out. You can study, do some books, read just the common text. Uh, would not really be allowed into this area. Could put a door there. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Probably a uh, locked door of some kind. Uh, let's go double. Double door studded. Denoting importance. That works. Gonna have it there. No. Slightly off. And place. There we go. Very nice. A little bit off still. OCD. There we go. Still bought off, but I've given up. That works out fairly well. And we've basically created our map. You have the entryway coming in. You can have the guards posted around the uh, outside and the inside. Have a little fountain and some outside activity. Should you choose to do anything with it. Uh, have the statue. Should you choose to turn them magical for interior defense. You have the left and the right that leads around the castle. You got the center area that leads right to the main hall. You have the uh, servants area where they'll be creating, constantly doing chores. You have the recreation area for the guards, militia. Uh, they have a little dueling ring, throwing dart, practice cubicles, rest. Got the actual knights area with the armory. Got on upstairs to a another floor under lock and key. Uh, constantly people in here. Uh, I want to say you could allow people to have a, a trap landed on here. If you don't know about it, you take the pathway, then it activates, completely closing it down with a big door with a big thump. 
probably wouldn't use this passageway very often. So, I would say door it up with a double. Uh, double, a double door. Ooh, that's open. Double door tot. Double. Double wood iron. That would work. And basically uh, deter anyone from immediately entering. That'll do. Perfectly balanced. And to uh, basically you don't want people to always use this entrance. It would be allowed for situations, but you need to be able to lock it off in the case of a siege, completely just lock it down. Uh, as well as the armory, if the armory ever gets compromised, you got to prevent access, ex additional access to the other floors, all that kind of thing. But I'm going to leave that here. I think we've gotten some good progress. It took over an hour, so probably one of the longer episodes for today. But again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed everything, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see all the more. And leave a comment if you have ideas for what to do next. I'm probably going to continue this castle, sprawl it out, maybe make it a 9x9 uh, nine nine, or a 3x3 uh, three three and 9 total squares. Have the center piece. Probably do a double tall for the main hallway. But we'll see. Leave your comments. Let me know if you want to change something. If you like this, you didn't like this, uh, it's, it is what it is. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.